Protesters ambush a pro-life event at Virginia Commonwealth University this week, and the video is absolutely nuts. Watch this. I thought VCU rules were that you can't disrupt a peaceful gathering, and no one's doing anything. Go home. Go home. Would you saw it Our next guests were trying to host the event. President of Students for Life of America, Kristen Hawkins, and Turning Point USA contributor, Isabel Brown. And they joined me now. I'm going to start with you, Kristen. So you were just having a pro-life meeting. And were these students that were protesting you, or were they outsiders? Yeah, this is part of my campus speaking tour this semester that Isabel has kindly joined me on. And we were there, we were invited there by our Students for Life chapter at VCU. Um, the students have had trouble with Antifa disrupting their events in the past. And that's what happened, uh, sadly, this Wednesday. Uh, Antifa protesters, non-students, actually entered the campus. There were biological men in miniskirts, trans activists, and pro-abortion activists who gathered with them to shut down this event via a heckler's veto. And as you'll see watching the live stream footage, the school, despite my bodyguards calling and asking for support, didn't intervene until more than 30 minutes into the situation, wow. which is why now I have bodyguard, I have a bodyguard guarding our students for life leader on campus. That's why I want folks to go to studentsforlife.org slash security and help chip in because this is getting un it, this is unhinged. You know, no, it's absolutely ridiculous that no one came in for 30 minutes. I mean, we live in a country where Christian students were, you know, gunned down just this past week. 70, over 70 pro-life centers have been attacked and firebombed. Um, right. Isabel, was anyone taken out? I, I think it was pro-lifers who were taken out of the meeting. It was, including Kristen and I, who were invited to speak on this public <laughs> university college campus. 30 minutes into our gathering, which was intended to be a back and forth dialogue, inviting questions and conversation from people who would consider themselves to support abortion, where we can break down that divisive narrative and just provide the truth about why life matters. Uh, several students in the room were attacked by these Antifa and far left extremist protesters, including one who was physically assaulted. Uh, megaphones were being used to hit some employees with Students for Life and more insanity, at which point the police did decide to show up from the campus police department. But instead of escorting these violent protesters out of the room, they forced Kristen and I to essentially be detained in a locked room for our own safety for several hours alongside a small number of students who did come to peacefully learn from the event. It's, it's just shocking. Um, th by the way, this is a statement from VCU. It's committed, they said VCU is committed to promoting a safe environment for our students, faculty, staff, and visitors so that the right to gather and speak freely is protected. The overwhelming majority of events at VCU take place without incident. So we are disappointed that a student organization's meeting was disrupted Wednesday night. We must extend dignity and respect to others, especially those with whom we disagree. Obviously, Kristen, this was an attempt to intimidate, um, maybe sure. prevent other students from coming in the future because they don't want to get caught into this kind of um, scuffle yeah. and, and, and violence. Uh, Kristen, what does this tell you, though, about, I mean, on a positive note, what does it tell you about the movement and uh, the mm -hmm. pro-life movement and the success you've had that you have now Antifa people from, uh, you know, not even part of the campus community coming in to protest you? Well, it means that they're worried. Since the reversal of Roe versus Wade, these folks have become completely unhinged, as you mentioned, Rachel, at the beginning of the pregnancy centers that give out free diapers and baby, baby formula who are being attacked simply for helping women who courageously choose life. It's unbelievable uh, that this continues to happen in our country, but we weren't going to let them stop us. Isabel yeah. and I were ready to be arrested because we, you know, they needed to remove the room. VCU should have cleared the room of those violent protesters and they failed to do it. Instead, ended up detaining us. And that's simply wrong. But we're, you know, we're not going to stop. We had a school yesterday contact yeah. us and tell us that I now have to pay for my own bomb sniffing dogs if Isabel and I want to come later in April. It's yeah. unbelievable. But we're going to pay the fee because we're going to make sure that the pro-life message is heard. Yeah. We'll keep more, more Fox and Friends. Keep fighting, girls. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.